finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's fun sized. Um, the dog can have it. Do oh, sh I just killed the dog. Welcome back, guys. So it has been a long while since we've done one of these a pass or play. It's been about five or six months or so. What the premise is, is that I take a game, maybe something not a lot of people are talking about. Maybe it flew under the radar. Maybe it kind of has a little bit of a bad reputation. Take the game, give it a good 10 minutes, because in my opinion, first 10 minutes of the game, it's either going to grab me or it's going to push me away. Play it for about that amount of time. Let you guys know, is this something I'm going to continue playing or am I going to pass on that boo-boo-ness? So the previous episode we did was the longest five minutes. And my God, I couldn't get into that game. So that was a big pass for me. The first episode we did was Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn. And I actually really dug this game. I know Shaq Fu kind of gets a bad rep, but you know what? It was fun. It cost me like 12 bucks or something like that. And I actually really dug it. So that was a play for me. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Death Road to Canada. I did get the physical edition from Play Asia. I thought it looked neat. Um, and I was like, you know what? I got to jump into this about some zombies has an old school look to it. Don't really know too much about it, but we're going to give it a good shot today. The one thing I thought neat with this game was uh, I did get the limited edition. It was limited to 2,500 copies and they were all numbered. Mine was 665. Wow. Got lucky, I guess. Um, the thing I found neat is that the game actually comes with a manual. Games just don't come with manuals nowadays. This is really cool. I dig that. Love that they did that. It has a reversible cover as well. Um, but the back of the box. Manage car full of jerks. Explore cities. Recruit weird people. Face swarms of zombies and tell people to cool it. It's up to a four-player game. We're going to just play it by ourselves. I got no friends. You know what I'm saying? But there we go. Let's give it a good little shot. Let you guys know how I feel about it. Let's jump into it and see what to do. The one thing I thought was neat was uh, you can make custom characters. That is awesome. Seems like there's tons of options uh, that you could do. Color, hair color, face and all that stuff. Change out their body, uh, gender, size. You can make them tall, fat, short, fat, whatever. That's pretty cool, but we don't care about that. We're just going to jump straight into it. Um, haven't played the game yet, but like I said, we're going to we're going to check this out. So here we go uh random oh you can you can have a random person did not know that first time i went to the screen it was just the dude with the glasses i was like okay there we go see what to do here's rumors that canada is a safe place free of the threat of zombies with nothing to gain from raiding waiting around florida he decides to brave the death road and travel north okay i don't care about hints we're just gonna hit the road Let's do it. Are we controlling this? To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies. Okay. Let's go to rest stop. Group finds rest stop. Okay, let's just go, man. I don't want to read all this shit. All right, let's just go. Oh, shit. Let's boogie. Let's get out. Oh, snap. There's an exit down below. What the heck? What is the point? What are we doing? Are we going in here? Oh, wait. Ooh, soda. Okay. Wow, blood. I mean, black blood and guts. Oh, shit. Man, we need to. Oh, there's a weapon on the ground. Oh, I guess we're just traveling the death road to Canada. Like that's just the, that's just what the game's about. I'm like sweating. What is that about? Holy crap! Purse. No, I want the hammer. I care about no stupid purse. I don't know what the point is. Maybe we just, uh, okay, we just collect stuff and then keep it moving. The group sets up camp at the safest place. Group eats, okay, okay, this is interesting. This is kind of like, like uh, Oregon Trail a little bit, you know? We got morale, 
Oh man, our morale decreased. Damn. Ay. The group reaches the city, it starts to rain. Swarm size, mild aggression irritated. Current time near noon. Apartment with bark banner, furniture store. Let's go to the apartment. Let's do it. Okay, so I, I get it. I get it now. Oh, I don't want to use the flashlight. Is Jolene just not going to use shit? I just equipped that fool. Okay, I, I get it. We got to... Oh, wow. All right, let's get out of this house. So we're just kind of like surviving. We're just finding supplies, trying to boost morale. How do we get Jolene to equip some shit? I don't get it. Okay. We had to put it in the first slot, maybe? All right, let's, let's, okay. Are you equipped, fool? No. Doesn't want to use the shit that I'm giving him. All right, let's, let's, oh, bitch. I guess you could find survivors and stuff out here. Huh. We don't have a gun. Get off of me. Oh. Died. They're eating them. Oh crap, they're like, they're straight up eating that fool. Damn. Sorry. Oh well. We lost them. Huh. in here. We need a buddy, man. I, I don't have enough people with me now. Hey. The dog seems unusually tame. Yeah, follow me, dude. Shotgun shells. Some food. Now. This place is a lot bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. I think that's it. We gotta we gotta head out. There we go. You gotta start the car floor it. <laughs> Found food, gas, meds, pistol ammo, rifle ammo, shotgun ammo. We killed 75 zombies. Raymond catches up with Jared at a safe spot. He seems like he wants to stick around. Yep. We're recruiting a dog. We got. I got to replace that other dude that died. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Lose gas. The group runs to some people that are attempting to run a small farm. They offer eight food in exchange for help. Okay, let's see what that's about. Oh, that's fucked up. This is, this is neat, my boys. It gets late. There's no great place to camp. So as zombies hobble around in the far distance, one might sneak up. Who should stay up and watch? The dog, of course. The fuck? Oh, crap. Dude, fucking dog's not loyal. <laughs> wow. 
Hey, stupid ass dog. Finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's fun sized. Um, the dog can have it. Do oh shit. I just killed the dog. Oh crap. You're not supposed to give dogs chocolate. Wow, this game's realistic. I killed freaking Raymond, man. Oh my God, he's dead. I wonder how bad they have it on the West Coast. Holy crap. Outside of Canada, most society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging. You have 11 food left. Uh, let's let's go ahead and... Oh, some... Like, if I had somebody else to play, they could, like, jump in, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and recruit her. We need somebody. Cool. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Scroop meets a woman who is covered in hammers. They hang from several tool belts. Nah, we don't need no hammers. If it was like a gun or something, maybe. Can I steal somebody's car? What is this guy doing? Here's what I have ready to go. Let me know which head you're interested in. What? Um. Okay. I want the robot head. Cool. Now I'm a robot headed freak. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. This is interesting. Don't forget to check every single toilet for loot. Yeah, we know. Group finds a new person, Kristen. She's alone and wants to join the team. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Onward to Canada. Damn, we're dropping gas. The group gets confused and driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege alert. There's no escape. Oh! What do you got? What do you got? Oh, you got a gun. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Uh. Kill those. Get the. Oh, woohoo. Oh, forgot to turn that subscriber thing off. Oh, well. Oh, we got gas. That's good. We got a zombie point. What is that? Ooh. Ooh, we got weapons and shit up in here. Oh, I got a chainsaw. Ooh. What is that, a bong? What is that? What the hell is that? Oh, sh the siege is over. Okay. That was kind of cool. Let's hit the road. We got some gas, that's good. Wow. Takes real strong and fit person to use the sledgehammer well. So so there you guys go. We feel inspired after managing to survive that situation to feel like they're getting the hang of this. Okay, I know I said I was gonna play for like 10 minutes. I know we went over that, but you know, this video, it'll be edited down. I don't want this to be a long ass video, but wow. Okay, when I first started playing, I, I wasn't feeling it too much. I was like, this kind of, what's going on? But it's, as soon as you get into it a little bit, you start getting more people joining you. You realize hey, this is like an intense, like Oregon trail, but with a ton of action, zombie killing stuff going on. You got to really uh, manage your resources, look for stuff. This game is legit. Holy crap. I lost my dog. I lost my other partner. Zombies ate him. I killed the dog by accident. My bad. But wow, this is definitely a play. I'm going to end this video, but I'm going to continue playing. Maybe I'll stream this sometime. Let me know. If you guys have an idea for this pass or play series, drop a comment down below, be it old school stuff, new stuff, whatever. 
let me know what you'd like to see and maybe we'll we'll do it give you guys a little credit for whoever comes up with something that i choose but yes death road to canada is straight legit in my opinion i i'm digging it i'm having fun with this really cool stuff so hey with that said guys really do appreciate y'all hanging out with me and i will catch y'all next time peace out boys and boom bye don't feed dogs chocolate oh no